If you wanted to make a grappling gun in your game, well, stay tuned to f find out how to do this. All right, so to start us off, I just got myself a little basic level here. We got a little platform that we can stand on and move around. We got a little platform up here, and then we've got a hooking point. Now, uh, all three of these, the ground platform or hooking point, they're all the same. They've got a static body with a sprite and a collision shape. And my hook point, I've stuck into a group that's just called hooking point or hook underscore point rather. And my player has just a basic movement script on it with a grapple button to instance in my scene. And I don't need that anymore. There we go. So we just have a grapple button, which for me is my left click. So now we head on over to the actual hook. With this, we're going to need a speed and a velocity. And obviously, your numbers are going to vary based off of your own projects. And but once we uh, spawn in, so inside of our ready function, I'm, I've set my Z index to be in the very back so that it never overlaps anything. So it's never out in the forefront, like on top of platforms and that. If you wanted to do that, perfectly fine. You could do that as well. It's up just personal preference. Now, when we spawn, I'm setting the position to be at my player's position. So it's spawning on my player. Uh, I'm then getting the mouse position as well. And I'm using that to actually determine what direction to shoot in when I click. So I then set the velocity to a, a vector two, of course, but that is that, uh, velocity is being determined based off of the direction to wherever it is I clicked on the screen. And of course, time speed, so it's not going super slow. So I believe the default for a direction is, I want to say like one, one to go up on an angle, but I could be wrong about that. But either way, we uh, multiply by speed to give it, so it's not going super slow. <laughs> Now inside of our process function here, uh, we're getting, we're checking the distance, see if it's greater than a thousand. And again, this number here, you can tweak to your own uh, decision, your own choices, what you feel you want to use. And once it goes past this range, it deletes itself. So if we were to take a look at that, we can see I can go up like this. And you see, once it gets to a certain point, it just stops spawning. And if I were to tweak that number, Right. Let's go down to 100 and take a look. And now it's much, much shorter. So how long you make that is going to be completely up to you. And it's just going to be tweaked by this number here. So let's go. Let's go 750. I'll take a look. Is that long enough? That should be. Oh, yeah, it's still plenty long enough to for me to hit my point. All right, now for our actual check in the hooking point. We take a look here. And we have an, uh, an area 2D. Because our hook here is made of a kinematic body, a sprite, area 2D, and a collision shape. I've also got a timer. So when uh, a body enters our area, we check if the body name is player. Uh, over the body's name is hook. So that way he doesn't do anything to it, stick to itself or anything. Or stick to the player, we just return. You could also just do a pass in here, that's also, uh, would do the same. L if, so else if the body is in the group of our hook point. So this is what determines what we can and can't hook onto. We set, uh, the velocity to zero, so we don't let our hook shoot past it. Once it hits it, it stops, as if it were to stick to that object. And then here we get the player, and we set its velocity, and we set that to uh, based off of the direction 
again here to uh, where, where it is that we clicked, right? The direction to uh, from our bot from our player instead of our mouse and something, we're going the direction from our player to uh, the thing that we stuck to. And then, of course, we multiply by whatever number you want here to help speed it up. So in this case, since it's the same number of speed, uh, I could come in here and just go like this. And then that way, my player will travel uh, the same multiplier as my chain is shooting. And the timer here is just so that uh, once you do stick to something, since it's not going to be out of range. Um, obviously, because we're going to be going up to it. Uh, the timer just makes it so it uh, the pieces, all the chain links are going to automatically delete themselves after X amount of time, which uh, you can see on the right hand side there, I've got it set at half a second. So that if it doesn't connect to anything, it'll delete itself. And if it has connected to something, uh, it'll delete itself after half a second to prevent uh, having any leaks. Because the way this is set, whoops, we don't want to go in the hook, we want to do the main scene. As you see, once we go up to it, if I were to let go of my mouse, we're going to fall back down because we're not connected. But if I keep holding on to this, you can see we have some change here. A little bit pumping out the other side. That's fine. Uh, but we don't want to have that constantly spawning there while maybe our player sits here and thinks about where to, you know, maybe jump off to next. Right? So we just delete those after half a second to prevent any memory leaks from happening. But aside from that, you've got your grappling system here. It just pretty much comes down to where you want to go from here. Uh, how you want to set it up. Do you want to have a, a timer set up for it? Do you want to add some more code so that uh, once you connect to it, uh, the player maybe just moves uh, more towards it without you having to hold on to your mouse button or, you know, whatever kind of conditions or modifications you want to make to it. But this is the basic concept of uh, what a hook shot would be. And as you, as you uh, remember, that's in the hook point, so I would not be able to connect to this platform here. So we can come in here, we could also, whoops, that's all on all caps. So if you want, you can come in here, do it else, keep free. And now it's not going to go past the, the platform. It'll hit the platform and delete itself. So if you wanted that as well, there you go. Now it doesn't look like it goes through it or behind it. It hits it. Nothing happens. But we can go to our point. But there you go. There's the basic concepts of uh, creating a hook shot or grappling hook that you can use to maneuver around your level.